We're here in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress. My first time back in two years. I think Me your too. first time back in two years. So I'm here with Caroline Chan. She's a vice president of networks and the edge group at Intel. And we'll be talking a little bit about women in the telco space, which is obviously something I care about. I know you care about yep. it. I know Intel cares about it. So first, you've been in the telco industry for more than 15 years at this point. At least. <laughs> and it's historically an industry not known for being particularly diverse, but things have changed. So from your experience and your perspective, what new opportunities have, have you seen for women and other underrepresented groups? Well, so the interesting thing that's recently happened is something called 5G and Edge in telco. It's a very hot, popular investment areas. Unlike before, it used to take, you have to know microwave and RF. This one is actually taking telco into enterprises, into schools, into hospitals, into venues. In other words, your surf audience is much more diverse, right? You think about the people that will be making the buying criteria is way more diverse than before. As a provider, as a vendor, as a supplier in telco, you have to adjust. Because now the decision maker could be someone that runs the hotel rather than just setting up a cell tower. So our workforce has to be diversified to in order to answer all the new challenges. So yes, we are actively encouraging, recruiting, and uh, you know, grow that pipeline to, in order to meet that requirements that's now the verticals are asking for. Yeah, that's, that's great that that's the direction we're moving in. And now to get a little bit more personal here, <laughs> as a leader in this industry, what are some challenges you've overcome and what are some one or two key takeaways that you can share with us? I think I grew up in uh, engineering uh, household. Both my parents and my mother was part of first generation of uh, women engineers in China. So I, I never had the fear or the doubt to think that I could not be one. But as I entered into telco right after University of Texas in Austin, the best school in the world, and once you go in there, you realize people don't necessarily think you are. You think you are, but you have to prove yourself. So I constantly have to prove and prove again. And then when I make the pivot from being engineer to management, to running a business, that's another hurdle that you have to run through. I would say for me is persistence, confidence, and just knowing that you can do this and, and the support of other women besides you, ahead of you, behind you is so, so important. Right, and you definitely started to, to answer my next question, but I wanted to kind of dig a little bit deeper into that because I think there's value there. What other advice do you have for maybe younger women or other uh, underrepresented groups who are trying to get into the telecom space? What advice do you have for, for those people? I, first of all, if you're in the, in the university, find internship, uh, summer internship. Uh, and that's actually a really good way to find out whether you like it you have to be passionate about it. I've always been very passionate about telco and specifically wireless because I really see that being to, to bridge the gap between people who have no access to information to people who have. I've traveled around, you know, I, I, I'm, I am from China. You see the, the information gap can be bridged by providing connectivity and rich connectivity, not just bare connectivity, rich connectivity. We really experienced that now, you know, through the last two years, and to providing that resources. So to me, that is a transformational to help the, the, the women. And, and many of us are daughters and sisters and mothers. We feel that humanity connectivity, connection, mm -hmm. I would say a little bit more <laughs> than, than the other I part of the sex, yes. right? We're much more passionate. So for me, doing this job is not just doing this job. It's mm -hmm. really, truly can change how our next generation, maybe even our parents can experience the things that we are experiencing, having the uh, reach to all the, the data, the information at your fingertip through the wireless speed. So for me, it's a calling, it's not just a job. And I think that for, for the, the, the ladies in early in the career, really should look at this. If this is your passion, go after it. Get internship, get, mentor, you know, get a mentor in, in, the, uh, in the area. There's many uh, mentor associations now available. Mm -hmm. Women in telco, there's many organizations, Grace Hopper, 
get into that and actually, you know, find someone that you can you can uh, partner with. Absolutely. And now things are getting better for women and other underrepresented groups in telco, but we're not we're not there we're yet. Not we're not where yet. we want to be. So, yeah. what are you hoping to see? moving forward how are do you what needs to change in the industry or even in education which i know you talked a little bit about do we need to start fostering this interest earlier what what would you like to see change so i mean we have gone down to uh, as early as going to fourth grade mm -hmm. even because if you don't have that pipeline you just say well magically uh, there'll be 50% representative in engineering school. That's not going to happen. Right. You had to go to middle school, high, you know, high school, middle school. We ha we've even done worse, for example, Girl Scouts, mm. doing a summer camp, science camp, engineering camp at Girl Scout level. You get rid of that myth that somehow girls are not good at math. Uh, that's that's yeah. completely not true. Mm -hmm. you, you could, there's nothing to prevent you being so-called good at math. So get really early and set a goal, like Intel set a goal uh, that's to bring parity a, a women in a, in a tech field inside Intel. So by doing so, we're contributing, we invest resources, time. I personally do mentor circles inside and outside. I get involved in uh, Society Women Engineer. That kind of thing is we, there's a way for us to give back, to show the girls, the ladies that are coming after us, it can be done. Yeah, and Intel, you mentioned some of the things that Intel's doing with their Girl Scouts and, you know, talking to younger women and making mm -hmm. sure there's something interesting. What else is the company doing around supporting women? Now, we, we go into uh, engineering schools, especially underrepresented uh, uh, engineering schools, providing scholarship, providing mentorship. Uh, I, like I said, I personally set on several uh, advisory bo uh, committees for engineering schools with the pivot to really focusing on grow the women engineers. Inside Intel, we have a goal. We call them the RISE goal, R-I-S-E. It's setting a goal internally to bring parity to underrepresented as well as women uh, in, the, in the technology field. So by setting that goal and tie that to our uh, pay, it motivates everybody. Like, this is gonna be done. <laughs> yep. May, you know, it, it really is. We need to get be serious about this. We, mm -hmm. People talk about it, but realizing if telco does not change our current trajectory, we will not be able to have that kind of talent to have that kind of uh, 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 growth prospect as we go in more into the, the vertical space, right? You know, retail and, and venues and industrial. You are. Like I said in the, in the early on, you are dealing with a very diverse decision makers. Right, right. You cannot be the single, uh, 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 you know, mindset. You have to be di diversity of diverse mindset. Definitely brings mm -hmm. business results. Yeah, it's not just a social initiative. It's no, it's not. Business it's, it's imperative. Business for, it's, it's critical for yeah. telco to grow that. Yeah, definitely. Well, Caroline, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Enjoy Mobile World Congress. I will. I will. Yeah. <laughs>